So I've been making a lot of puzzles recently and uh, coming on here to YouTube and seeing that I don't see a lot of people showing how they design or make their puzzles. I don't know if this is a taboo, if this is like a magician showing how he does his tricks, but I find them interesting. And the most fun part about building a puzzle is coming up with the mechanisms. Um, and simple ones. I designed this one. It's all 3D and laser cut besides the edges and top. And I designed it in a way that I can uh, make more of them. I got two more sitting down here that I already sold. And uh, yeah, these I can make multiple of. And that's what I want to do next. I've also been making ones like this, where this is more of a one-off. I'm not going to make another one of these. That's the only one that's going to exist. Same with this big one where you got to get Thor's hammer out from inside. Now the next one, so my, my, my process, I start with the end and kind of work my way backwards. But as a design element on this, I want to use something that uses these shapes because I can hide a button in it. So I want to build it to where the sides are going to have a hidden button that will open the box. First thing I got to do is get on the computer and design a mechanism to sit on the back side to actually actuate it. Let's do that. Okay, so now that we got these pieces uh, kind of designed, 3D printed, we need to go ahead and check to make sure that what we're doing is going to work. Now, I already know I'm gonna have one problem. Uh, problem being, this fits snug, too snug. So I am going to sand down the sides to get this thing to fit perfectly. And the thing I'm worried about is this piece here is going to be on there. It's going to act as a paddle. So when you push this, it will detent that down and help you spring loaded to push the button back out. But I'm a little worried that it's not going to do it evenly and the button will get jammed up. So I am going to start sanding and getting that figured out. First, coffee.
Okay, so got it pretty good. Slips in and out. Now, how this is going to be working is let's just put it all the way together. So this will be on the back side of the box on the inside. So when you push, well that pushes, see it's getting, it's binding up in there. And that's what I am worried about. So, I don't know if it needs more sanding, if that's gonna do it or, if that paddle idea just isn't gonna do it. I could lubricate it too. The problem with lubricating it is whoever owns this, or if I give this to someone, um, they're really not gonna have access to lubricate it once it's all together. Uh, this here is just a little bit of mineral oil and beeswax I melted together. And it kind of I use it as a wood finish and a lubricant sometimes just to put on the pieces to hopefully make them slide together a little better. See now, see it's still doing it so it's compressed but it's not, there we go. See that's what I want it to do so when you push in. That will go down and it's not gonna have to go far. There's gonna be one of these on each side of the box. And I'm thinking on the back of the box, there'll be a piece that slides out. When that slides out, hopefully it'll allow a piece to release from this. So if the back slide isn't pulled, this will be jammed up. So if you push on it, nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna be a little spongy. It's not gonna let that depress. And the back of the drawer will be latched onto this, so you're gonna have to overcome the friction. Yeah, is any, is any of this making sense what I'm saying? Probably not. I don't do a really good job of drawing stuff out. I just build what's in my head and that can be scary. All right, well, this is gonna be my test piece anyways. So, let's, uh, let's glue it together, which means I need to take it apart again.
the only way to really can keep testing is I need to make a frame. Let's, uh, I might just laser cut a frame for this that I can glue in place with some corner brackets to continue testing it and cut another one of these out. I think I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all the pieces cut, uh, top and bottom. I went ahead and made, got both sides ready and a back plate. And I cut holes in the back plates. So that way when I do the wood on the outside, there's a little slot he can run in and move. So I'm gonna glue it all together. Let's do that real quick. Yeah, real quick. Go fast. <sighs> All right. I made one of those mistakes I make sometimes. <laughs> I can't access those screws right now. But this is what the basic, I guess, internal skeleton is kind of going to look like. Of course, the rest of it will all have actual wood. I'm going to make a trim around the sides and the back sides where the two pieces and I'll have to do my best to make it uh, invisible and hide those to be able to pull those in and out. Um, To do next I'm gonna fix this problem I'm gonna fix this problem and that might be close to the end of uh, this design portion for, for for this video I promise I'm gonna make I'm gonna continue it I'll finish it let's uh, let's cut some slots real quick This side is working. As we can see when we uh, push it in. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end this one here. Um, I'm gonna have to think about how I wanna design the rest of this, these bits and bobs, and I'm gonna fix this, but you probably don't wanna watch me fix mistakes. So, uh, yeah, next time I will, uh, figure out how I want to make these back pieces and build the spring device to make the puzzle box actually spring forward. All right.